Hey friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. This is Gina, I am your host, and I am here excited to be with you today to go over some safety features of some car seats that are currently offered on the market and to sort of walk you through what some of those safety features mean, practically being able to be used in your car, and um, which brands offer these type of features, okay? So uh, let's preface this video by talking about car seat safety. All car seats have to pass FMVSS 213, which is Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 213, which means that they are put on a sled test and they are running into a fixed point at 30 miles an hour. So it's a frontal collision um, at a 30 mile an hour uh, speed. Now, why does this matter? Um, it matters because the FMVSS 213 has some proposed changes coming up in terms of side impact, so that's very exciting. Hopefully they're going to make the test more robust by adding more testing elements to it, but right now it's a pretty straightforward, just direct frontal collision into a fixed point at 30 miles an hour. Um, what else I would say about that is that does account for a vast majority of accidents. So. Um, while side impact accidents are very fatal, they're going to be the least uh, common type of accident uh, compared to other type of accidents. So there's a million ways we can talk about data and information, but it's just important to understand that this is the testing that car seats do. Um, the other part of this that I want to make sure is incredibly clear. A rear-facing car seat, a car seat that's backward-facing, is 80% safer than a forward-facing car seat. So we can talk about amazing safety features on all of these products when they're in a forward-facing mode. That does not mean that that is a better solution than keeping a child rear-facing as long as possible. So as a technician, I would always advocate for best practice, which is leaving them in the rear-facing position as long as the seat tolerates it in terms of the weight and height, and as long as your child uh, is under the weight and height restriction of what the seat uh, indicates and is correctly installed. Okay, so now that we've laid that out on the table, Let's talk a little bit about what makes some of these seats that are behind me very, very special. So the other part of this conversation that I think is critical to understand is that I'm not just showing one brand. Um, these safety features are found on a variety of brands. So it's not like one brand is making up some type of safety benefit. Um, it's just exciting safety features on some of these brands that we carry that you may not see elsewhere. So that's what we're talking about. Um, if you look at the seats all the way down the line here, the Cybex on the end that I have the infant Cybex seat in the black, that's going to be the Cloud Lux uh, reclining uh, Cybex car seat. The one next to it is gonna be the Serona that's in the gray. This guy right here in the Navy is a Baby Arc uh, convertible car seat. The seat behind me uh, right here on the Nuna demonstration seat is gonna be the Nuna Pippa Air RX. And then immediately next to that guy is gonna be sort of the mother, the bad boy, the originator of the ultra safe uh, car seat, convertible car seat. This is a Kleck Foomph. Color shown is called uh, Thunder, which is Krypton. It's pretty sweet. Um, Kleck is made in Canada. Uh, all the other seats that we're looking at are going to be made in China, but it is a very exciting feature about Collect that it is made in Canada. Okay, so what do we care about as far as these seats are so special or what makes them so special? Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the Pippa Air RX off the base, uh, excuse me, the infant seat off the base, and then we have the base, and I'm going to pull the base out and bring it over to the camera to show what's going on. So what's going to make the seats generally special is that you have your lower anchor connectors on some type of fixed mechanism, meaning that these are not on a flexible piece of nylon. So with some car seats, uh, when you install them, the lower anchors are on some type of flexible nylon belt. These are going to be uh, a fixed lower anchor. So they are not on any type of flexible, they are fixed. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another feature is if you look at the front of this, you have this exaggerated plate. This is called an anti-rebound feature. This is an anti-rebound bar or an anti-rebound plate. That's gonna be very special as well. And then you have this piece that goes down to the floor. This is referred to as a stability load leg. So, um, 
A fixed lower anchor is going to have a reduction of movement from side to side. If you are hit uh, in a side impact or if you have any type of motion that way, fixed anchors will have a reduction of movement. The other thing is that your anti-rebound plate stops the seat from moving up in an accident after the primary impact. A load leg is going to have a reduction of that primary impact in an accident. So we can physically show you what we're talking about. All this means is that, I'm gonna reattach this with my lower anchors, tighten it in, make it nice and tight, and make sure that our load leg is touching the floor, we'll put the seat back in. So if we're driving forward, and these are my kids in the back seat, right? We're driving, we stop for a cat in the road. There's gonna be a surge forward, and then our seatbelt's gonna catch us because every, um, every object in motion remains in motion unless it's acted on by another object. And then we're gonna have, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. We're gonna slam back, that is called whiplash. On a car seat, it's called rebound. So when you have a piece that goes to the floor, like what you see on these brands here, that is going to be helpful to have a reduction of movement for that primary force forward. So we stop and we're moving this way and everything's going to want to continue to move in this direction. If we have a stability load leg, that prevents the seat from rocking forward and down. Um, or backward and down, depending on the orientation of the seat. If you think about the head being the heaviest part of the body, we don't want it whipping forward and coming back. That's why a piece that goes to the floor is so special. Now, there's a fair amount of infant car seats that'll have the stability load leg that goes to the floor. It's very, very, very rare on a convertible seat that you do have it. That's why I wanted to point out what that is special about the Cybex and the Baby Arc. So the Serona and the Baby Arc are the two seats currently that I'm aware of that have the load leg going to the floor for both rear facing. So those both will have backward facing option on those seats to have the load leg and also for forward facing. So um, Clec, for instance, has a different safety feature for forward facing that the Serona doesn't have. Um, so it's sort of like we can pick and choose what features are most important to us. So we'll get into that in one second. So again, um, for stability load leg, everything that we're looking at here with the exception of the Klek Foomf is going to have the load leg going to the floor. And then all the seats that we're talking about have um, an exaggerated piece, an anti-rebound feature. So that is particularly special um, with the baby arc. If I remove the seat, this is a convertible seat on a base, which is crazy. Um, you can definitely check out my baby arc video if you have more questions about that. But as you see here, the stability uh, load leg goes to the floor and then your anti-rebound plate is very, very exaggerated. On the clock that I have down here at the very, very end, and I will zoom in. I have my rear facing anti-rebound bar attached onto it. So in a rear facing mode, it won't pop up, um, but it doesn't have the foot that goes to the floor. So generally speaking, I tell customers that if it doesn't have one, it should have the other. So it doesn't bother me if a seat has one or the other, but it is pretty fabulous now that there are options that would include both um, the anti-rebound plate or bar, as well as a stability load leg to be used in either direction. Um, the Cybex is rotational. Now, to be fair, this is not installed correctly to be rotating because if it were actually in a forward-facing mode, you would have the top tether installed. Uh, I don't have that on here right now. But as you can see, in theory, for especially in a rear-facing mode, you could turn it toward the door, which some people find to be um, a useful feature. I have this just installed very quickly not totally perfectly, but for the sake of the video, helpful. So as you can see, um, they'll do different things, different features. Some of these are infant seats, the Cybex, the Baby Arc, and the Clec are all convertible seats, meaning that they are a backward facing seat as well as a forward facing seat. So that Baby Arc that was just uh, in the forward facing mode, we can also reinstall it for rear facing as well. Now, the thing that's particularly special that 
Baby Ark and Clack have that the other convertible seats that the Cybex is missing. The Cybex doesn't have the fixed lower anchors. So remember, on this Nuna, and also even on the Cybex infant seat down there at the very end, the lower anchors are going to be fixed. They're not going to be on any type of flexible piece of nylon. Clack, to be fair, was the first to the North American market with what they call rigid latch. So as you can see here, to be candid, this seat is about like 50 pounds. It's incredibly heavy. We've got the steel piece here. We actually have the steel frame. And then on the interior of the seat, they have um, magnesium uh, pieces and metal pieces, aluminum, that are in either a hexagonal or octagonal shape. And they call it um, REACT technology, which means that when you get in an accident, there's a piece inside that crushes altogether. And because of the way that those are placed next to each other, it becomes infinitely harder for it to crush. And what it's doing is it's taking the force of the accident and it's using all of that force to crush that piece instead of working its way to your child's body. So um, car seats that have fixed lower anchor features generally have some pretty special additional safety features that are meant to work with the rigid lower anchor. Uh, this is also true for Baby Arc. Baby Arc has a coil on the inside of the base, and in conjunction with that lower anchor in an accident, that coil actually opens up. And because it takes energy to do that, it increases what's referred to as ride down. So it's going to take longer for the energy to transfer to the child's body. Um, these seats also have some special side impact features. Most of them have additional side impact protection. Baby Arc and Cybex. Uh, specifically do on the inside of the clack, on the interior of the shell, they have additional pieces of bike helmet foam in there that are not uh, completely visible to the naked eye. Um, and again, there's no side impact testing in the US, so it's hard to sort of put a value on that. But in general, um, we do love some good side impact safety features. So um, if you are thinking, hey, I'm doing car seat, safety is my number one priority, what can I do to really arm myself with some awesome safety features? Your best bet is gonna be keeping your, uh, your child rear facing for as long as possible. Um, so again, Cleck will do a 50 pound rear facing. Baby Arc, I believe is 55 pounds in rear facing mode, which is crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure Cybex is 40 or 50 pounds in the rear facing. And then um, all of the convertibles are the 65 forward facing. But again, keeping them rear facing as long as possible. And then moving beyond that, if we want to purchase seats with additional safety features, that's kind of talking about what those safety features are and why they're important or fun or good or awesome to care about in your life. All right. If you have questions or you have comments, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, this is not the definitive safety video of all time. Obviously, this is just one person's opinion. So um, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Sharing is caring. If you know someone who needs a different size, bigger, larger car seat or even an infant seat, uh, they can purchase any of these from our website, which is destinationbabykids.com. Um, they all come in other colors, special fabrics that should all be on the website with pricing. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate every viewer, every view, and uh, hopefully we will see you in our next video. Thanks so much.